There's one more lighting style that we're going to do. And John, we're going to have to put this little mini boom on here. And this is one of my favorite lighting styles. It is called butterfly lighting. So what we'll do is we'll take this guy off. What we're doing is this is a little mini boom arm. And um, it's just going to allow us to get the light over the camera. So we want this on axis. Perfect. And this guy right there. The nice thing about these little guys is you can just stick a light on the end of the boom, just like that. Tighten down. Excellent. OK. I'm going to come right back over here. Watch your head. Good. And let's get a uh, small softbox there. Actually, let's get a beauty dish. We haven't done a beauty dish yet. We haven't shot with a beauty dish. We'll use that. Grid or no? No grid. No grid. You may also want to talk about grids, the tab here. Yes, let me just show that. Yeah. All right, so on a, when you put a grid in a, a modifier, there's a little tab that comes out right there. And that's what you use to pull the grid out. Sometimes you'll put it in backwards. And when you do, there's no tab to pull it out. And it's a big pain to get it out of there. So make sure the tab is always on the outside. It seems like a very, very simple thing until you forget the third time. Like, and you're like, Duh, yeah, and it's hot. And you're trying to work. Um, yeah. So tab out. Tab out. All right, so this guy is on there. And is that? Is that the head here? The, um, the yellow. There we go. Mm -hmm. All right. OK. Um, perfect. I'm going to grumble about stands really fast, because mm -hmm. what you just saw is a result of, so Matthew's stands are the stands that I always use, because they never do what you just saw, where the things don't, they're not tight on there. And I won't say the name of this little boom arm here, but it's not a Matthew stand. It's a different brand. And they um, drive me bananas. Because they do stuff like that. They fall. They don't tighten down right. They wear out fast. Maybe we should put a piece of tape over that brand so I don't get in trouble. <laughs> but um, I don't want to talk poorly about other brands of stands. But in my experience working in studios for years, um, you just cannot match a Matthew stand for quality. And price. They're super expensive. OK, so take a half step back. You know, I get in trouble all the time for telling people to buy stuff that's really expensive. but. You get what you pay for. It. Yeah, let's, let's do that so I don't get in trouble. I don't want to badmouth somebody's stuff, especially since I didn't pay for it. So, OK, so uh, look straight forward. All right, what we're looking for here is a shadow under the nose. And right now, we're not seeing that shadow because this light is so soft. So what I'm going to do here is we'll try to raise this up a little bit to see if we can get that shadow. Get the shadow. Get the shadow. Okay. Um, you can start seeing a little bit of shadow. So it's called butterfly light because there's a little shadow right underneath the nose. You know what, John, because we can't see the shadow, I'm going to use a normal, a normal reflector so we can see it. So this is funny for me to work so hard at creating shadows that I don't like. But you have to see them to understand what they are. We're going to put this back in a second. Uh, we're going to put this on just so you can sort of see this shadow. Kablam. Kablamo. OK, we'll see if we can get that shadow. There we go. There it is. There's the shadow. OK, right under Lex's nose, there's a little teeny shadow. And that little shadow defines butterfly light. And so let me take a quick picture. There's one step that we haven't done. But I want to make sure that everybody can see this shadow. And I have something incredibly crazy going on here. What is it? my exposure is going super high. So I've, ex I've changed something, and I'm not sure exactly what it is. I don't know what it is. There we go. All right. I think, yeah, I'm not sure what happened. All right, so it's the shadow right here under the nose that we're talking about. That's the shadow. That's what butterfly lighting is. Looks just like a butterfly. Yep, looks like a butterfly. Stings like a bee. OK, so um, normally how butterfly light works is light on axis, straight above, usually softer light. So we're going to go back to something that looks good. Here you go. Got it, thank you. We're going to use this, which is a beauty dish. What the beauty dish does is it makes this light very, very soft, very directional. 
Ah, so much better, huh? Lex loves it. You love it. Okay, so we have this. And so we have this light coming down just like we did before. We can see the shadow still, but it's very, very soft. And then the second part of butterfly lighting is we want to eliminate the shadow underneath her chin. So let me first take a picture of just the beauty dish. Just with the beauty dish, looking straight at me, beautiful. Okay, we got that. Okay, when we see this, you can see that we have, um, and this is gonna be the next shot, it's gonna be much softer light underneath the chin. There we go. See how this beauty dish, we still have harder light, but it's a softer, harder light than we had before. Um, but what we want to do is we want to eliminate that shadow. And so traditionally what happens, we're going to have you hold this up. So John's going to come over here. Silver or white? Silver. We're going to use silver on this. And Lex, if you can hold this like that as well. So normally you have something like this underneath. And I will take a clicky. Let's call the picture. Okay, beautiful. Thank you. And now what's happening is that's uh, acting as a fill to remove those shadows underneath. And we get this beautiful portrait. And so that is what butterfly lighting is. And the nice thing is butterfly lighting works with almost anybody. It's hard to take a bad picture when you're using butterfly lighting. It's really fast, really easy to set up. And then look at the eyes. We get this really beautiful catch light in the eyes, which is what we want.